Today we're going to show you the return to home function. It's a very simple um, way to do because there is a button on the screen when you are uh, having the uh, DJI app. Then there's a button on the screen, return to home. And then it's one thing you should be very careful uh, of because it's the, um, the height that he is coming back, that that is high enough. When there are trees in the surroundings, mostly they are about 20 meters high. So what I did was um, the, the set in the settings, I placed 30 meters for the height to return to home. And then I'm curious if he is coming back at the place where he started, where sometimes he is He's a bit off, so let's go outside. I have put it on record, so he is recording the flight. Now we go that way. Uh, 38, 39, 40, okay, okay. a bit higher. Now he's 61, 63 meters away and 7 meters high, 7.6. And now here you see that little error with the letter H, and that is return to home. Return to home, yes. Go home. Go home, say. He's going higher now. He's going to... He should be going to 30 meters. That is, yes. Now he's higher, he's going higher. 29 meters. And he's coming, you see? 40 meters. Yes, there he is. He's right above us. Now he should be coming down. Yes, Th 28, 26, 24, 23. And I'm doing nothing on the controls, you see. Now I'm curious if he will land on the same place where he started. Sometimes could be a bit off. Because he is now 2.6 meters. You can always push this cross and exit the return to home function. There he is. See? And he's a bit to the left. 2.6 meters. You see? He's doing everything by himself. And even shut down, shut down the motors. So that's pretty accurate. I think that we can trust the Phantom with these kind of things. We return to home. <laughs>